All right. Hey, everybody. It's the 404 guy here. 7HE404GUY. It's been a while. We got a lot to talk about today. But before we get into the episode... Warning. This program contains coarse humor and a sense of language that some people might not share. Viewer discretion is advised. Oh, man. I tell you. It has been a long set of exams. Um, two exams on the same day. I've just been studying nonstop. Ooh, I can bring an asteroid into orbit of Jewel. Plant a flag on Eve. Temperature surveys of Tilo. Wow. That would be ambitious right there. That would be some ambition. Uh, science data from space around Minimus. I can do that. Easy. Uh, what else do I have active? What do I got to do? There's this guy. This guy doesn't expire, and this guy expires in 12 years. So, you know... I don't necessarily want to do too much today. Uh, I just want to unwind. So, what better way to unwind than building a bomber? Let's do it. Build a friggin... We're just gonna drop bombs on this place, man. That's, uh... Kerbal Space Center. Actually, no. That's, that's not what we're doing. We're not dropping bombs on Kerbal Space Center. Sorry if uh, I got your hopes up there. No, 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 no. We are dropping bombs on Kerbal Space Center's competitor. That's right. There's a competitor just nearby. And it's, uh, it's, it's, it's at that point where we've got to take out our, our enemies here. I mean, come on. We can't just, uh, can't just be letting these guys, you know, do their thing. They're, they're eating into our business here. So let's, uh... All right, there we go. Let's pack this sucker full of uh, explosives of some kind. I don't know. What's this? What's wrong? What's wrong with it? It's fine. It says it's there's a problem. I don't know what the... It's not showing what the problem is. Landing gear missing? My ass is missing. I haven't put the landing gear on. So let's see. Uh, hmm. Coupling. We're going to fill this guy up. Uh, put one of those in there. We're just going to fill him up with, I don't know... I don't even know what. Just, just I don't know. Fuel. Fuel is pretty explosive these days. Uh, let's get that in there. Hey, come on. No, 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 no. Come on, you. There we go. Oh, come on. Why won't you connect to that? Ah, jeez. This is annoying when it does this. Ah, come on. You're right there. Okay, maybe you're not. Get rid of this piece of crap. Oh, jeez. Come on, I wanted to relax here, guys. Why you gotta do this to me? Ah, jeez, this is awful. What the hell? Who designed this system? It's it's asinine. I can't connect this. Anyone know a better way of doing this? Because obviously I'm not I'm not getting it. Oh, hold on, hold on. There we go. Awesome. That's what I wanted to do. All right, we got a thing of fuel in there. Let's let's let's, let's get some more on there. That's what we wanted to do right there. All right. I'm gonna drop some friggin' fuel on that uh, that competitor. They think they could build their own space program, but little do they know, Kerbal Space Center likes to play on the offensive. We'll get our guys in there, and before you, uh, before you know it, come on, connect. There we go. All right, can we fit a third in there? We probably can. This is just... This is going to be absolutely insane, this. I think two's enough. Let's, uh, let's tape it up. Tape it into position. You know? Oh, jeez. We need two of these. Hold on. Ah. No. Did you stop it? Come on. This guy's annoying. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, what, what did I do wrong that time? Literally the first time I didn't even want it to connect, and that time it... Okay, there we go. Let's close this up. All right. So there's our payload bay. That looks pretty good. Uh, we need to shift MK3 to this guy, and then we need to shift this guy right back down. Is there a way to structurally couple that? I guess I could do this backwards. Oh, jeez. This thing's way too big. Oh, that's it. It's the length that's too big for the uh, for the runway, I guess. 
That's why it was yelling at me. Okay, okay, I can't get that. I kind of, I kind of respect that. Doesn't mean I accept that, but I respect it. We'll fix that. We'll fix that. Don't worry. Let's get some engines on here. Um, I'm thinking this guy. We just need to get it uh, some air intakes. Where's the air intakes for this uh, for this guy here? Surely it wouldn't be these guys. No. Aerodynamics, that makes sense. Okay, this is MK1. Is there a maximum speed on this? No. Alright, we'll put on a couple of these dudes. These dudes. Dudes. Put them on the side there, and then we'll put in uh, something even better. We have that aerodynamic scoop thingy that we can attach. There we go. There, radial air intake. That's perfect. Put in a couple of those guys, too, eh? Hey, while you're at it, cookie. All right. Ah, this is, uh, this feels a lot better than cramming for examine. I tell you what. All right, how's our aerodynamic overlay is looking like it doesn't exist. Center of mass. Now that's going to shift around quite a bit. We're going to want to have some rather versatile wings. So I'm definitely thinking this big S wing we got here. This guy is probably the best for it. Best for the job. Let's put him there. We'll fill it up with fuel because that's going to be our only source of fuel. How's that looking? That's looking okay. It's not looking great. Let's bring it back. Let's bring it back there. At the front, I want to do kind of a smaller arrangement. Well, not the same size. Delta wing. Something a little smaller at the front. Almost like a canard. Because that way, once we drop this payload, we'll still have... Uh, a relatively controllable aircraft. And that really is what I'm worried about here, is uh, whether or not this guy's going to be controllable once we drop this payload. So... How are these Elevons supposed to work? Elevon 4. Ooh, fancy schmancy. Doesn't let me attach it. Okay. Uh, what else? I guess, yeah, this would, this one looks nice, too. I want to kind of add this guy. And we can put some fuel in there, too. Why not? All right, how's that looking? That looks okay. That actually looks really nice. Uh, we need landing gear. How are we going to land it if we got no landing gear? I tell you. Oh, this would look so cool. No, not that. This! This would look so cool. Look at that. Size of that thing. How are you supposed to get that into orbit, even? Extra large landing gear, please, on the outskirts, if you don't mind. Thank you so much. Oh, that looks that looks really good. Look at that. That's like the perfect size. All right, now we just need something at the front. Let's, uh, I don't know, medium? Is medium good enough? I guess so. Let's do medium. All right. That looks perfect. First try. Uh, unfortunately, the length is massively over, as is the mass. As is the number. Oh my god, we gotta update everything. Call it the sky breaker. Cause it's gonna break the sky once we actually get it in there, but first it's gonna break the bank, so let's uh Okay, so the runway has a restriction of size and weight. Let's upgrade that. Space plane hangar has a maximum of parts. So let's upgrade that. Alright, should be good now. Just blow away a bunch of money. Doesn't matter. Does doesn't even matter. Like we don't even need to worry about it. That's that's how little it matters. Uh, these guys are going on a picnic. So it'll be a lovely little picnic, all of them. Uh, this should have parachutes because I don't necessarily trust that they they can go on a picnic without incident. So let's give them a few parachutes so that they don't end up destroying themselves. Go. All right, okay, now we get into the real stuff here. All right, so this drops one of them. This drops the other one of them. So that's how we're going to do it. We set off the engines, we do whatever, then we drop bomb number one, we drop bomb number two. We stage this, we can't stage this, so it's just going to have to be like that. Let's try the Skybreaker. Let's see how she goes. So yeah, like I said, just finished exams. 
stressful time of year. I had two exams in one day, and this is graduate level exams. Not necessarily the nicest thing, but I actually think I did really well on them. You know, to be perfectly honest. Um, I'm thinking for my chemistry exam, maybe our professor was just trying to be nice to us. So on this flight, we're going to see exactly, oh jeez, uh, how stupid I am. Uh, because we don't have any kind of, okay, I guess we have lateral control via the engines. That's kind of a thing. We don't have, uh, we don't have a tail fin or anything like that. We're just basically on a wing and a prayer. Pun intended. Come on, come on, off the ground, my friend. Oh dear. Oh, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're up, you're, up. you're too up, you're too up. Why are you so up? Okay, not controllable. Let's see why that isn't controllable. It wants to pitch up a little bit too hard. Uh, number one, I guess, would be these weak, weak little control surfaces. We need something strong, something big. Something that's going to get that control ability, you know? I guess this technically will work. It's meant for lower speeds, though. But it doesn't actually state what speed it can be used. Oh man, is that going to be too big? No, that's going to be just perfect. Look at that. It looks like it was made for it. All right. Now we need a space plane tail fin. I want to do a V-tail. And I want to do a V-tail that's not backwards like that. Okay. Look at that. That looks... That looks terrible. That looks like nothing any sane person would ever design. But yeah, the uh, I think my favorite exam had to be the one on uh, had to be the one on uh, finite element methods. And I know it sounds nerdy, but I mean that's just so much fun. Summation by parts, Newton Krylov, relaxation methods, multi grid, just all the fun stuff, all packed into one little exam. Man, that was that was that was something else. Sorry, I got a bit of a cough here. Uh, this looks like he's going all over the runway. What are you, drunk there, Jeb? All right. Uh, I figure we should be able to rotate around 100. Maybe maybe now will even work. Yeah, we can get her up. Okay. Now, bring in the gear and just hope that this guy is stable. So we're going we're gonna to do a test flight here, heading for, the, uh, heading for our competitors. That's the whole point of this uh, episode here. We got to take out our competitors. We've got a uh, we've got a target on them there, and that's why we've got the uh, that's why we've got the bomber here. We've got a little bomb loaded up in the bay. We're going to drop it on our competitors. See if we can't get rid of Kerbal Space Center's competition. Uh, all right, we're on our way. We got these guys on a picnic. Should be there in no time. Look at this thing. This thing's like a this thing's a snail. It's like a turtle. Moving along at 87 meters per second. I figured we were going to lift off at 100. Never even made it that far. Wow. I tell ya. Okay, get that nose down at least. We're at a good altitude, I think. Uh, just going in low, they won't be able to see us on our radar. Or uh, they won't be able to see us on their radar, I should say. So we'll be uh, we'll be doing a sneak attack here. Most radar is looking above a thousand meters. Well, most radar is looking above a thousand feet because uh, civil aviation requires you to be a thousand feet above ground. So these guys are going to be looking for a thousand feet. We're going to give them a thousand meters though, and hopefully they won't see our little bomber approaching. Playing a little bit of uh, a little bit of the offensive here for Kerbal Space Center, making sure that our opponents there. Get a little taste of what Kerbal Space Center's been cooking up. All right. I think obviously my favorite topic in finite element methods had to be uh, had to be time marching methods because that's what I always talk about when I'm playing this game is time marching methods. It's crazy. Really awesome stuff though. I mean, it's like. All right, we made it to 200 meters per second. All right. We can see him now. Look at him. Sipping their tea and eating... I don't know what they're eating. Biscuits? 
Sipping their tea, eating their biscuits. Little do they know that they are the target of Kerbal Space Center. All right, let's even that out. Going a comfortable 200 meters per second. Very comfortable. Let's uh, let's nose down just a wee bit there. There's our see our target right there. We got to be pointing at it. All right, this looks like a good approach. This looks like a perfect approach. Let's get ready to drop the bomb, buddy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that looks great. Okay, let's uh, cut the engines. Bring her in for a nice silent glide. Silent as a falcon. All right. Yeah, as you can see, our competitors have been uh, have been at hard at work there. All right, three kilometers. Quick, open it, open it, open it. Hurry. Eh, drop one. There goes number one. Drop number two. All right, let's watch them. Let's see how they go. There they go. All right, let's blow up the competition, buddy. Cha-ching, bada-bing, baby. All right, well, we didn't blow them up, but we probably put the scare into them. Let's go. Oh, crap. Okay, we accidentally messed that up severely. All right, we are now the, uh, what would you, what would you call that? Flying squirrel? We're now a flying squirrel. That was a mistake. Okay, well... All right, we are now at the hands of the enemy. Uh, we're going to have to hope that these guys are kind enough to not blow us up the way that we blew them up. Because uh, otherwise we're screwed. <laughs> it's like we just dropped a bomb on you guys, but we accidentally messed up our flight. So we're just going to land at your runway here. Let's um, let's bring it around. I think I can probably take off from that runway. I think. Let's just bring this up a wee bit. Oh boy. Get those brakes on there, buddy. All right. All right. Bring it around town. There we go. All right. Keep on those brakes. Uh, break it, buddy. Break it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Keep it on them brakes. Just keep it on them there brakes, I tell you what. So we're going to use their runway to take off. Um, you know, I don't think these guys are that bad. So they're probably not going to rake on us for trying to kill them. Um, yeah, that's just how nice the uh, competitors of Kerbal Space Program are. But of course, we're going to try and... Uh, I'm going to try and run a smear campaign on that. Okay. So there's the building. You know what? These guys have been working hard. I think they deserve a little, uh, a little picnic. Let's give them a picnic. You know? I mean, people never really mention this, but the, the Kerbals... They're hard workers. They deserve a little bit of a picnic every once in a while. Okay, this runway is a lot steeper than I thought it was. Wow, look at that. Okay, we just blew up our nose. Come on. Come on, you. You can do it. Just climb the runway. That's all you gotta do. Just climb it. Oh, wow, this is slow. I don't know if we're going to make it up the runway, but if we do, I'm going to be so happy. And then I'm going to give these guys a picnic. Alright. Cha-ching, bada-bing, baby. We're good. Okay. So, after trying to blow up our competitors, we landed at their base. And, as you can see, they're letting us use their runway. Despite trying to blow them up. So let's hope that they don't try to blow us up as we use their runway. Let's uh, let's head back to Kerbal Space Center. This is a different runway to take off on, isn't it? Wow, look at that building. All right, I think we kind of I think we destroyed them more than they hurt us. So uh, let's just 
When we return home, we'll just tell them that, I don't know. Wow, that's completely rubbing it in their face. Okay, this is now. Okay, this is bad. This is probably. All right. Let's uh let's go back. That was mostly a successful flight except that it was dog slow. So this is not a successful bomber. Do I have another one in here? I think I do. We have the fourth one. We have the little picnic plane. Huh. What's super plane? Does it have bombs on it? It doesn't have bombs on it. What is this thing? This is the one that I... Yeah, this is the one I was working on last time. The one that we broke the, the sound barrier with. You know what? Let's kamikaze this guy. Who's get, Okay, you're not going to kamikaze. This guy's going to kamikaze. Let's do it. Why not? We're out to get Kerbal Space Center's enemies. We want to eliminate any any rival space center. So those guys just across the river there, or across the ocean, we're going to take them out. We're going to take them out this time. We'll see, see just what they're made of here. All right. Cha-ching, bada-bing, baby. Let's do this. Okay. Why isn't it? There we go. There's our target right there. We got them marked. All right. Those of you sensitive to the wants and needs of Jeb Kerman may want to look away as we kamikaze him into a building. Again, that I that's may. You may also want to watch in excitement as we see young Jeb Kerman. Okay, we're going way too fast here. We can't break the sound barrier in this thing because it does not control well once you go past the speed of sound. You gotta bring that sucker back there. All right. This is very controllable as long as you keep it under 300. All right, heading for, uh, heading for this guy. Look at this guy, he's so happy. He has no idea what's about to happen to him. And for that, matter, I guess. I don't either, because there's really no guarantee that we're going to hit this building. Okay, throttle it back. Throttle it back. Just a wee bit there. We want to keep it under 300. Keeping it under 300 for controllability purposes. Alright, this is, this is a good approach. This is a very good approach. Okay, keep her down. Keep her down. Keep her down there, boys. Alright. Right on track for the building. We're going to hit that building with everything we got. We won't even be standing by the time we're done with this, I bet. First try. First try, 100%, we're going to take out that building. I tell you what. Oh, it's looking good. Oh, it's looking very good. We're lined right up for that sucker. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, oh. Come on, take him. Oof. tell you what, that was pretty close. That was pretty close. That was like... Man, that was right at the base of the thing. Okay, we'll give it another shot. One more shot, then I gotta go. Let's take out that building this time. We're gonna get it this time, I swear. I swear to you. We will eliminate Kerbal Space Center's opponents or competitors. We are anti-competition at Kerbal Space Center. Eliminating the competition by force. Hello, hello. I'm Dr. Shiny Face. We're going to eliminate our competitors by smashing into them at high speed. And before you know it, Kerbal Space Center will be number one. Yeah, let's just do full speed. Come on, full speed, full speed. Full speed! Alright. We'll, uh, we'll slow it down once we get there. Why not? Oh, jeez, look at this thing. This thing is, it's uncontrollable at this state. Uh, going past the speed of sound, we're roughly Mach 2. 
we cannot control it at this speed. Uh, if we attempt to, it is not going to end well. Yeah, it's uh, even under control. Okay, let's slow her down there. Let's slow her down. Come on. No! We gotta hit that building. I won't let you fail this. Not again. No, sir. No, sir, I won't. Ow. Oh, shit. We might have killed someone. I hope not. Okay, well, that was kind of a failure. Hey, the gear went out. <sighs> Alright, that was quick enough. That was quick enough, we can do this again. We have got to eliminate that, that competitor. We can't have a competitor just across the way there. Everyone's going to go to them with contracts when we start charging them through the nose. It's just not good business. It's better for business to just load up an airplane with fuel and smash it into their headquarters than to try and do anything innovative. We've learned this time and time again from Wall Street. All right, how we doing? How we doing? Full speed. All right, full speed. That's actually pretty good lined up. We're lined up pretty well for this one. Look at that. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not. Let's uh, rotate it just a wee bit. And once we're about, I don't know, yeah, 19K. We'll start letting off on that. Because we want to be controllable yet high speed. Controllable means less than 300 meters per second. High speed means more than 200. If we can do it... Oh, we're looking good, though. We're looking so good. Oh, no, now we're not. Come on, come on. Bring that nose up there. Bring that nose down there. Bring that nose over there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, this is perfect! Oh, yes. Oh, direct hit. Oh, my God. That didn't do anything, though. Holy crap. Okay. Well, you all saw it here. I guess that means our opponents have discovered kryptonite. Uh, they can't be destroyed. They're unstoppable. So I don't know what we're going to do in uh, Kerbal Space Center here to try and uh, get rid of our competition because clearly that did not work. Uh, the only other thing I can think of is to try and break the 300... The three... Th uh, sorry, not the 300. The 3,000 meter per second barrier. Can we do it? Probably not, but let's try it anyway. Hold on, hold on before we do that. We want to get some heat uh, heat rejection system. Because as I recall, this thing heats up like crazy. Let's just get some uh, radiators on there. They're going to increase drag, obviously. But... I mean, what we've got here is a supersonic air... Oh, get rid of these. We don't want those. We want this one. We've got a supersonic aircraft here. We want it to stay cool, especially when we're uh, about to try and push it to 3,000 meters per second. This will be our last little mini challenge here, trying to push this guy to 300... Why do I keep saying 300? Maybe we'll push it to 300,000 meters per second. I don't know. We're going to push this guy to 3,000 meters per second. A Kerbal Space Center speed record. That's the only way we can beat our competitors across the river. Is if we beat them in speed. We go, we go faster than any Kerbal has gone before in atmosphere. 3,000 meters per second, ladies and gentlemen. I think we can do it. Let's go. So, first things first. We gotta watch this air intake. Make sure we're getting a good flow of air. Or a good flow of oxygen. That's gonna keep our engines going. And second thing's second. 
We're going to bring this sucker up to like 10,000 meters. We're going to have low oxygen intake at uh, 10,000, but we're also going to have reduced drag, and that's going to be very helpful to us. All right, so we're going for 3,000. That's what, like Mach 10? So, fingers crossed, we can do Mach 10 in this thing. If not, then I don't know what. But we should be able to do Mach 10. I have no... No worries about that at all. Let's see if we can't do that. Alright, we switched to light controls. Okay, okay. Whoa, 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 buddy. Bring that nose down there. Our fuel flow... Our flow rate of air is way too low. All right, let's keep her steady there, right around 12,000. Perfect. Just perfect. Perfect, my friend. Keep her going. All right, our flow rate is still going down despite our decreasing altitude, so let's just hope that that normalizes somewhere. Otherwise, we're screwed. Um, looks like that's not normalizing. What are you doing? No. Keep it forward. All right, there we go. It's normalized now. No, it's not. Okay, keep her steady. Keep her steady, boy. Oh, no. Oh, no, we're losing engines. Come on, keep her going. Gotta keep her going, boy. All right, our flow's going back up. That's good, that's good, that's good. Look at this sucker. 1,400 meters per second. I'd be proud if I wasn't so unimpressed. Come on, we gotta push it. We gotta push for more speed. We wanna get, we gotta at least double this. How much thrust are we getting out of these guys? Oh, we're maxed. We're max thrust on these suckers. We're not gonna get much more than this, I'm afraid. Darn. Ooh, I, I can't touch the controls. <laughs> the second I touch the controls, this thing kicks up to like 15 G's. Look at that. Like, look at that thing bouncing around. I'm barely touching the controls. Look at they're on they're on sensitive mode. Oh wow. Okay, so yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be able to crank this thing past. Uh, what is that? Mach five. I think Mach five is our limit. What's the fastest anyone's ever gone on Kerbal Space on Kerbal Space Program? I want to try and beat that. Cause I bet we can. We just, we just need to push it a little further. A little further, a little faster. Let's, uh, whoa. Let's bring her down just a wee bit there. So that we're descending at least, but it's, yeah, that's just not going up. I don't know. Whoa, that looks weird. Okay, that camera view is very strange. Okay, so this is what Jeb is seeing. What's fun? It's uh, furious. Now we're maxing out at about Mach 5. How far have we gone anyway? I bet we traveled, look at that. We traveled like, it, holy smokes, that's actually further than I thought. Like at least 10% of the way around the world. Burning through the atmosphere. Look at that. We're at the uh, we're at the next landmass. There's the moon. Or wait, is that minimus? That might be minimus. All right. So we've been traveling roughly. Yeah. Look at this. It's just it's just not not having any of it here, man. He's just not keeping together, buddy. Buddy. No, she just uh, she just doesn't want to doesn't want to break that 15. 100 meter per second barrier. She just doesn't want to kick it. She just don't want to get past that, man. It's just not, not nice, man, I tell you. Though I bet we could do it if we strap a couple of rockets to this sucker. Think about it. If we, if we just, like, kicked a couple of rockets right now, that'd work. Alright, I got an idea. I, I'm kind of curious. How far is this going to go? Oh boy. All right. Note to self: Don't use warp when in a sensitive uh, region of flight. 
Got that. Must be, uh... <laughs> Speaking of time marching methods... Okay, we need uh, we need one of those dual coupler dudes. Here we go, by stack, or they call it, whatever. There we go. Put two of these suckers on here. All right, then I tell you, you get the you get those same engines. Ooh, how much do these make? Maximum thrust, 107. 107. I can make 107 kilonewtons of thrust passing wind. Yeah, we're gonna use these engines. These guys right here. Uh, we need two of them. Oh, what? You can't? Y'all can't do that? Ah, oh, jeez. Hold on. Why are you? Why wanna? What is it doing? Okay, there we go. Two. Uh, you know what to do. A three. And a four. Howdy. All right, that gives us super plane with four engines. You think this air intake is enough? That might not be enough. Yeah, that air intake is not going to be enough. Let's give it some more. Uh, aerodynamics. We need a better air intake system here. Here we go. Another radial air intake for your money. Just keep stacking these radials on here. We need more air, more ever. More ever. As much air as possible. We got four engines now. All right. Four engines. What do you want to bet? This gets us. The only two got us to fourteen thousand. Fourteen thousand. Fourteen hundred meters per second. I reckon two ought to get us to three thousand. That's the hope. Um. Okay then. Kerbal Space Program just crashed without even so much as a bug report. That was rude. That was so rude, Kerbal Space Program. Why would you do that? Just as I was starting to have fun, you decided to crash. Lucky thing I saved. Uh, so we'll just have to... Man, if that had crashed during flight... Ooh. I shudder to think. All right, we got to give this a couple minutes to restart here. Kerbal Space Program, you crashed on me. We no like it when Kerbal Space Program crashes. So while we're waiting for that to load up again, I think I'm going to start ragging on, uh, ragging on YouTube a little bit. Because their live streaming system is extremely problematic, i found. It's just, yeah, it's giving me one problem after another. I'm thinking of just going exclusive to Twitch again. Um, you know, for what it's worth, it seems that the YouTube, YouTube just doesn't want me there. <laughs> but, uh, you know, that's just one person's opinion. Oh, look at that. It loaded. Okay. Did it load? Did it really load or did it crash again? Because if it crashed again, I'm done. No, it loaded. All right, this time we're going to get 3,000 meters per second in atmosphere. That is the goal. Break the Kerbal land speed record. I don't know what the actual record is for uh, the fastest stock speed in atmosphere. I reckon it would probably use actual rockets. Here we go. Super plane, super plane. That's the one. All right, we got four engines, though. Can you actually get into orbit? Well, yeah, I guess you can. From uh, from being in atmosphere. All right. The suspenseful music. Why is she here? Who told you you could get out of here? Go. You're not allowed on this mission. All right, here we go. All right, looking to break the land speed record. Now let's do this. Oh no! What? 
we lost both of our engines immediately. That was the whole point. That was the whole point of having those. Oh, jeez. Oh, what a failure. Okay. Wait, wasn't she... Okay, well, we lost one of our Kerbals anyway. Where is she? No. She's, uh, she's, she's gone. Let's, uh, let's revert that. Okay, note to self. Do not try to lift the nose up. The nose will lift on its own. Man, I was not expecting those engines. Okay, she's back. Get out of here. All right, let's go. This is a this is a dual experiment. We're trying to see how fast we can go and we're trying to see at what speed she lets go. All right. 120, 130, 140, 150, 160, 180. I can't even count that fast. All right. We're already at 200. Okay, there she goes. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay. Look at that. Bring in those landing gear. Look at this. Look at this. We're going to break 3,000 meters per second. No problem with this guy. Look at that. Put it in cinematic. Oh, that's just beautiful. Look at that. All right, but we need the uh, we need the surface velocity meter. In a sensitive mode. All right, we're already at a thousand. We just got to really watch that. Uh, okay, see our fuel intake is dropping, probably because we're air breathing. You know, if I put on a little bit of oxidizer, I could switch these over. Okay, yeah. Whoa, boy. Uh, we got a nose down. Uh. Ouch. <laughs> uh, you don't want to be conscious, Jeb. I don't think he wants to be conscious. Uh, can we air brake this? Let's put the air brakes on. Can we... I don't know. That's not enough to slow us down. Look at this thing. It just It just shattered. Okay, let's revert that to the hangar. I think we can uh, we can we can iterate on this design a little bit here. Um, what do we got? We got nothing but liquid fuel. Uh, what I would like to do is get rid of that. We'll take this guy off. We'll replace it with a liquid fuel plus oxidizer. Liquid fuel. We want regular rocket fuel, right? Because that's got oxidizer. That way we can switch these over, right? Uh, we should have toggle mode. Okay, we want okay, we want automatic switching. Will they switch it? Okay, I think that means they'll switch automatically. So that way we'll uh, we'll be able to switch these over to uh, switch these guys over to an oxidizer mixture to get a little bit more thrust while we're kicking it through the atmosphere. Potentially, that may allow us a lot better. Okay, you're still here. You're allowed on this flight. I will allow it this time. This time we're actually making history. Get these engines lined up here. All right, bring in those gear. Oh boy, oh boy, don't go up. Don't go too far. Don't go too far. No, my friend, keep it steady. Oh jeez, we've lost it. We've lost it already. Uh, oh boy. Darn it. Yeah, sorry about that. One thing I should do though, I should line up these engines. Because we're going to toggle them over to oxidizer mode pretty quick. And we're going to need to do it within a certain amount of uh, time in order to prevent them from, uh, from going crazy. All right, let's go crazy with this sucker. Fingers crossed, everybody. We're going for 3,000 this time. 3-0-0. Oh, oh. Let's do it! Yeah, baby, yeah! Alright, get that nose up just a wee bit up. Don't need it too much, just need a little. Just a touch. Just a touch. 
All right, you're doing great, baby. You're doing great. Look at that. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. 1,500 in Atmo. Let's do it. Getting ready to toggle mode once we get close. We're hoping to skim off the atmosphere from horizontal flight. But first I want to see how far we're going to get with just the four engines doing their thing. Oh boy. Don't you, don't you dare, man. Don't do it to me. Don't do it to me. It's unbalanced, isn't it? I know it is. Oh no, they both lost consciousness. What are they? Those idiots. Okay, yeah, we're unbalanced. Anti-symmetric drag, that's what's killing us. I think it's because I have these guys on the top and I got nothing to balance them out on the bottom. So let's... Let's balance these guys out on the bottom there. And I guess that ought to work. Something like that. I mean, it worked so well. I guess... It's still axisymmetric thrust. I'm pretty sure it's still axisymmetric. Because these bicouplers are supposed to keep it symmetrical, right? Yeah, that's definitely axisymmetrical. We have we have different um, we have different air intakes that could be doing it. We're gonna keep these toggle modes all very close to one another. Right, toggle, 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 toggle. It's got to be quick. All right, going for the airspeed record. 3,000, let's do it. Do it. All right. I'll try to be a normal person. Let's go. Come on, bring that nose up. Bring that nose up. Come on, bring it up for me, bud. Not too much. Not like that. Don't go unstable. No, don't you dare. Don't you dare. We're not going into space. Oh, crap. We broke it. I think we can still save it, though. Hold on. No, we can't. They're in a flat spin. Can I try to save it? Toggle mode? Is that going to help us? Could that save us? Could that hurt us? I guess it can't hurt. Wow, this is actually a perfect example of a flat spin. So I guess we got to halt our rotation. Well, that's just twisting us. Hold on. Okay, throttle it back. No, we're too far gone. We can't recover that. Ah. We just need to keep it stable for long enough to be able to switch those over. To be able to get, well, yeah, we just need to keep it stable long enough to get stable level flight. Because once we get stable level flight, it's like child's play at that point. It's just getting to stable level flight and getting it trimmed. So I'm going to actually cut the thrust down. That should help us to get stable level flight. Right? Because it's not as pushy. Right? See that? It's at least... It's not controllable, but it's not terrible. So there. We can get stable level flight off of this thing. All right, we good? Let's bring the gear in, make sure we're stable. Once we're guaranteed stable. See, look at that. You push the down, he goes up. What is this guy doing? Just keep yourself stable, boy. What are... Oh, my God. Again, man. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Clearly, this does not have the level of control authority that I want. I wonder why. Let's put another one of these on. Wait a minute. I don't have to put another one of these on. 
I restricted these, didn't I? Bring that up, 84. All right, those are 84 now. Bring these up, 94. Okay, fingers crossed. Let's hope this is the last run. Did it crash again? Oh, thank goodness. All right. Put it at a low throttle. Before, what I had to do was decrease the control authority to get better controllability. This time, I've increased the control authority just a little bit more because this guy obviously needs it if he's ever going to have a chance at having a girlfriend. Look at this. Oh my god. You did it to yourself, man. Anyone care to put forward a theory as to why this is failing so badly? What did I do? What am I doing wrong here, man? Someone tell me. Oh, jeez. Okay, let's just kick it into high gear from the start. We've given them more control authority. The only other thing I can think of doing is taking it away. Taking that authority limiter down to zero. And basically, we just need the wings to keep them from plummeting into the ocean. And that's it. We don't need anything beyond that. And this control input, look at him, he's holding a he's holding a steady pitch. This is stable level flight. I'm gonna keep those landing gear out because the second I touch the landing gear, this is just gonna fall into the ocean. Uh, let's get the toggle modes ready. Wow, this is stable. Look at that, I just have to not touch it. Come on, baby. Going for 3,000. Going for 3,000. Let's do this. So our thrust is at 4,000 kilonewtons. We're in air breathing mode. That's good. All right, we're actually at our limit. This isn't increasing velocity as fast as it should be, so let's toggle. All right. Wow, that really killed it. Okay, it's actually better in air breathing mode. Let's bring her back. I was wrong. Oxidizer does not help. Uh, these are on manual. Let's put it back to automatic. Let's just keep her going. We're just going to let her go straight. Let's see what happens. Who knows? Maybe we'll break atmosphere on our own. We're certainly... Uh, Breaking that thermal limit. Look at these two. They're on a picnic. Isn't that cute? We got... Who are you? Scientists can boost value. Okay, there's no personal profile, but I mean, they're cute. They're on a little picnic. So theoretically, since we have this uh, set to automatic switching... Oh. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, does it? Because we're out of fuel. Look at you two. You wasted all your fuel on this... Stupid little trip. How do we run out of that? Well, we got plenty of oxidizer. Huh. Well, I guess that's it for this episode of Kerbal Space Program. I'm the 404 guy, 7HE404GUY. Thanks for everyone who showed up, and uh, thanks for tuning in. Feel free to tune in next time. We're looking at uh, Saturday stream, Saturday live stream. Once again, that date is Saturday. With any luck, We'll be here. So, I'm the 404 guy, 7 he 404 gey Let's just watch these two plummet into the ocean from here. And have a great day, everybody. I guess while we're watching that, I can, uh... What was the end title music? I think this is it. Did I actually find the right ending music on the first try? Let's see. I might have. I might not have. 
Where's the? Yeah, we're just watching them plummet to the ocean now because they ran out of fuel like a couple of idiots. Um, which I guess is my fault. Yeah, that's the right music right there. Well, there's nothing we can do to help them. They're done. Finito. Finito Bambito. Nothing we can do to save them. We might be able to save one of them, but we can't save both. No matter how hard we try. No matter how far we fly. I guess we could toggle the air brakes. That would probably help to slow them down so that it's not a fatal collision. But no matter how far we fly, no matter how hard we try. This is their end. This is how they meet their end in Kerbal Space Program. They attempted to fly too close to the sun. And now... Well... Maybe we can let the landing gear out as well. But there's no hope for them. It's unlikely that they'll survive once they hit the surface of the water. It's a sad existence, it's a sad reality, but there's nothing we can do to save these people. So sad. Yet... so real. It is reality, you see, that we all must meet the end. Death is the price that we pay for living, and these two have decided that they are going to pay the ultimate price. I could always hit the escape key and revert the flight, but, as so many people have noted, that only works if the game doesn't crash, and there's a significant possibility that the game will crash within the next minute or so that it takes for these people to hit the ground. Yes, it is unfortunate. Goodbye, Jeb, noble pilot, and Astley person with a very unfortunate name. Fare thee well, young people of Kerbin. Holy crap, they survived! How the hell did that happen? Look at this thing, it's legged out to crap! Oh my god, what? It's like they're... they're... They were literally saved by an angel at the last second. Look at this, they're floating on light. And the game has absolutely lagged out. I cannot... I, it, it won't even... It's like one frame per second. Okay. Let's... Oh, jeez. The menu's even lagged out. Okay. We need to revert this as soon as possible before the game crashes. Anyway. Yes. Uh, as I was saying. I'm the 404 guy. 7HE404GUY. And that's... Uh, that's going to be it. For this episode of Kerbal Space Program. Once again, thanks for tuning in. Be sure to show up Saturday. Of course, you don't have to. I don't make it a requirement, and I don't really feel that anyone should have to. But I'm going to be streaming Saturday. That's the point. Stay tuned. Keep on rocking. Have, have a good day. I'm Audi. Done with exams. Done with exams. Thank you, man. Back with this Kerbal Spam. Kerbal Spam. That's what people think it is. That's just me playing. I ain't trying to entertain no one no how. That just happens. <laughs> <laughs>